In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add links, an email link, anchors, insert images, and some hotspots. So first thing I want to just make sure you have is just your organization. I'm going to be working with this index.html and this ski uh, that I have on here too. So I'll go ahead and open up Dreamweaver. And in Dreamweaver, you can insert text just by clicking and inserting something. So if I want to create an external link, I just type in where I want it to link to. So I'll just double click onto that now after I've typed it in. And down here at the bottom where it says link, you have to type in the URL. So if it's an external link, HTTP, colon, slash, slash, and then the W's, or you could copy and paste it. Uh, in order for that to work. <clears throat> so that's how you just uh, create a basic link for a page that you already had. So in this case I have a ski page. So I'm just going to go ahead and just type out ski, highlight that, and then come in here and just type out ski.html because it is in the exact spot right there. So it's in the same folder with all my other information. <clears throat> so if I were to go ahead and save this document by going up to File, Save, and then go to this little world icon to preview that in Safari. I have my two links up there, so I can just click on Google, and that will go to Google. If I click on my ski link, that will open up my ski document that I have. Other links you may want to create, uh, maybe an email link if you just create something. Uh, so I'll just do another text, email. Me, it doesn't matter what it says. I highlight that. Uh, and I can either come up here. You actually could start off by just clicking on that icon too. And it'll help you out. So <clears throat> in here you need to type out your email address. So if I type out my web my email address. Whoops, make sure you get it right. And then click OK. Uh, that should put it in there for you. And if you also look down here at the link, it gives you this mail to colons and your um, email address. So if you didn't want to click on that, you could also just type out that code uh, in there for yourself too. So, but that'll launch it out to some type of um, <clears throat> email program. Um, so if your computer's already set up for that, that should work. Um, this last one, this anchor one that I want to show you, uh, let me open up this other document. And the way that this works is you can set up links anywhere on your page that will um, correspond to other text. So it's great for uh, large text documents. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, maybe I want a link up at the top to come down here. So I'll just click maybe right next to this text. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to click right next to it and create an anchor. And maybe I'll just name it BZ or BD. Doesn't matter what you name that. Go back up to the top, and I'm just going to copy and paste that text into there. Once I've uh, placed that in there, uh, then I need to go ahead and <clears throat> set that up. So I've highlighted that now. Come back down here and click, hold, and drag this icon to this anchor point and it will now set an anchor point onto that spot and you'll notice now I have a link there. So I'll do one more of those. So let me do this one this time. So go ahead and just put an anchor point right next to that by clicking, give it a name, come up to the top, just paste that in there, highlight that, Come back down here to the bottom where I have that anchor point. Click, hold, and drag. Drop that in there. Now that one has uh, a spot too. So if I were to save that and then just publish that, now when I click on this one, it'll go right to that spot. And when I click on this one, it'll put that one right at that spot too. So that's uh, an anchor point. <clears throat> Last thing I want to show you is how to insert images. So first off, you need to have some images uh, in your in your folder. So if I come in here to um, look at my folder, I already have some images in there. So I have a header in there that I'm going to place, and maybe a couple other images 
I could put in there too. So click where you want it to go. Click on the little guy up there and go to images, ski header. And you can put some alternative text. I'm just going to leave that blank for it right now. And then that'll insert that uh, header in for you. So and I could keep going on and doing some more of that. Uh, if you want to put a link on a on an image, you highlight that image, and you can come in here, <clears throat> type out. Oops, click on it, type out the link. So ski.html, just link it back to the same page, and that will allow you to. Uh, create a link to that page. Or if you wanted to do hotspots instead, which would give you multiple links on any given image, you highlight the image, click on any of these little icons down here below. You could just section off certain areas of that. Click OK on that. And on this one, I could go ahead and uh, just tell this to go to google.com and don't forget the HTTP colon slash whoops slash slash so you gotta make sure you always include that and one last thing if you want to you can also click on that link below to make it go open up in a blank page if you don't want to leave your existing site so same thing with some of these other icons click add another link just change that middle part give it a blank if I wanted to. This last one's a little bit different. It works with points. We just kind of click. You could make your own shapes and points. And maybe on this one I'll just have this one go back to the index. HTML. Since this is one of my pages I'm not going to give it a blank because I don't want it to go over the top. So when I save that and publish that can see what that would look like. Oh, forgot to save something, so make sure we save it. So that'll pop that in there. And it's kind of hard to see, but uh, if you look at the little hand guy, when you click on certain areas, it shows that it is a link on there, and it'll go to those pages. And because it, I put the blank, it will open up in a different window. And this one will just go back to that same one. So that's uh, inserting items.